Hey, hey, Epic Brothers and Sisters, this is Solus121 of Real High Reviews, and today we're looking at the HyperX Alloy Elite, my new replacement keyboard from my K70, and damn does it replace it well. Comes with all the features I enjoyed in my K70, and many, many more. So stay tuned for the full review, and I hope you're all having a wonderful week. HyperX never seems to fail in the packaging department. They definitely made the box and accessories look absolutely stunning. I would never have guessed that this was a $109 keyboard, as I was thinking that during the entire course of this review till the price was unveiled to me later this morning, that it was about a $200 keyboard. This is the MX Red Edition, so it's got cherry reds with it. All in all, the box looks great, the packaging feels quite safe, I think everything would be very durable and protected in there. It comes with a leaflet guide that tells you how to use the light controls, how to enable your custom lighting, and things like that, which is really nice to see. It's very, very straight to the point and comes in a multi-language format. Very impressed HyperX did this, as many companies with a keyboard include pretty much nothing. Next in there, as you can see, the packaging is really well done. We have the palm rest at the bottom here, or wrist rest if you will. It has a really nice finish to it. I was quite impressed with this. It has a rubberized coating over the whole thing as well as kind of a carbon fiber look to it that is really comfortable on your wrists and in your hands. It's very light and honestly HyperX did a good job with that. They could have just gone with a basic flat matte one but they did a little above and beyond there. So as you see the keyboard is really well packaged inside of the case which is good to see. Next, underneath the keyboard, we have a couple of things once we get the cord out of the way. We have there, congratulations for joining the HyperX team of Leaflet. I believe it talks about warranty and stuff like that, but I've seen this in all of them and I honestly have never read it. Next, they have the custom keycaps with the alloy look to them and a key puller. And it looks like that's about it within there other than the keyboard itself. So let's just jump into looking at the keyboard. So getting the accessories out of the way here we have ourselves a absolutely stunning keyboard. So on the right here, I'm showing off the features of the keyboard, like the cherry switches, the anti-ghosting, volume controls, and things of that sort. They definitely get it a good job with that. Again, the packaging on this is absolutely phenomenal. They made sure there was no damage in shipping and that it is very well protected. The keyboard itself looks absolutely stunning. Love the little feet on the back. They seem really well done. Like the USB pass-through right here. And there we have the keyboard itself. So as you can see, it does look a lot like the K70 with that dedicated volume slider, but that's pretty much what every mechanical keyboard does look like these days. The keys are very responsive. They feel very nice. The volume slider is just phenomenal. I do like the fact that they put the media buttons on there and there's on the very far left, there are three buttons there. One is for brightness, one is for game mode, which shuts off your Windows key, and the middle one controls your lighting effects. So I'm going to plug this in and show you what the lighting effects really do. So quickly here, I'm going to go over the lighting effects. There's the brightness to the far left, and then in the middle is the control. So first function is solid, then breathe. This is triggered that you're looking at now. Then with another click, we go over to explosion, which is pretty cool. I like the functions of these lighting effects. Lots of people enjoy different types of looks to them and they'd be really good on display. Now we've got wave, everyone's got to do the wave. And the next setting there is custom. So once we click on the button again, you can click on that, hold it and game and change it to whatever keys you want lit up. Right now I've got it set up for WASD, but that's the lighting effects for you. Let's take a closer look of what you get with the keyboard. So you get that beautiful sleeve cable. You get very nice rubber covered caps that I actually love the feeling of. They feel super soft and comfortable. You get the Cherry MX Reds underneath there. Little LEDs on each. They're not RGB. You've got your media control center over here, which obviously has your forward, back, pause, mute. And then you have your volume controller, which we demanded with the FPS but did not get, which is very nice to see. They listened and they put it in there. The keycaps look stunning. The little control center here shows you when you have game mode on and off which is the Windows key, uh, NumLock and Caps Lock, and then you have your major lighting controls. So with that, let's install the custom keys that come with it. So it comes with a nice little key puller that says HyperX on it, and your WASD1234. Don't know why they have 1234. I've never actually put the 1234 on, but the WASD is very nice to have, having that different color. I find that the keys 
HyperX used on these are so nice. I didn't want to use the swapped out keys. The swapped out keys did look quite nice, but they didn't feel as nice as that nice rubber coating. They have a tactile metal feel to them. They do look nice and they do pass through the light, unlike Corsair. And Corsair, take hint at this, this is nice to see. So HyperX definitely did above and beyond with one step here by adding that little pass through on their lighting on their low cost keyboards. So with that, this is an absolutely stunning keyboard. It was very easy to swap over the keys, put those new ones in, pull the old ones out. And all in all, I absolutely love this keyboard. I'm going to give it my excellence award. And if you're looking for a new keyboard and you're new to mechanical keyboards, take a look at the HyperX Alloy Elite. It may be your next keyboard because it's definitely my next. My K70, as you saw at the beginning of the video, hit the floor and I'm done with it. This is my new keyboard. I am Souls121 of Real Heart Reviews. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and stay awesome. We really appreciate you viewing our video. Hope you did. Give it a like. If not, give it a dislike if you didn't like it. Make sure to check out all our social media and have a great day.